Let's graph the linear equation 2x plus y equals negative 1. We use slope-intercept form to do that. So we need to get y by itself. Why don't we subtract 2x from both sides? That'll give us, and I wrote the 2x first here because I want it to be in slope-intercept form. And here's our y-intercept. So now we can graph this. We go to the y-intercept. That's the negative 1. That's where we'll cross the y-axis right there. Then for the slope, let's call this negative 2x over 1. We're just dividing by 1. We don't change anything, but now we can call it rise over run. So we go to our y-intercept here. So we'll go to our y-intercept, and then we rise negative 2 and run 1. So if it was just positive 2, our rise would be up 2. But since it's negative, we're going to rise down 2. 1, 2, and then we run 1. Let's do another point. We go here to our new point, we go down two, we rise negative two, we go over one. You can see the points all line up. Let's put a line through that. Then we'll put arrows here to show that this goes to infinity, and this is the graph for two x plus y equals negative one. Our slope is negative two, you could call it negative two over one. Our y-intercept, that's negative one. If you used a table of values to graph two x plus y equals negative one, you'd get the same line. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.